at 0123 on April 26, 1986, the reactor of Power Block 4 of Chernobyl NPP is destroyed following a series of thermal explosions. The resulting radioactive cloud moves across the European part of the USSR, Eastern Europe and Scandinavia, eventually reaching America. The consequences of the disaster are so serious that the government is forced to begin evacuating the residents of nearby towns and villages. A 30-kilometer exclusion zone is created to stop residents from returning to the contaminated area. Despite the disaster, the Chernobyl NPP continues to operate. The existence of a power station, as well as the fact that the area is no longer inhabited, leads the Council of Ministers of the USSR to set up a network of secret laboratories in the exclusion zone. June 11, 2006. The exclusion zone lights up with a flash of blinding light as clouds can be seen evaporating in the sky. After a moment of complete silence, a peal of thunder shakes the ground. Most of the government forces guarding the perimeter are killed instantly. 2008. Scientists are still unable to explain what happened. Rare expeditions into the zone usually end in tragedy, with survivors telling stories of mutated animals with incredible abilities roaming the area. According to various estimates, by 2010, the zone is home to between one and 300 unknown individuals. They call themselves stalkers and make their living by collecting anomalous formations known as artifacts, which they sell for considerable sums of money. 2011. Despite military cordons, the stalker phenomenon is growing in numbers. However, stalkers travel primarily around the zone's edges, with the center remaining terra incognita. The few attempts to penetrate deeper into the zone have all ended in failure. 2012, a stalker called Straylock solves the secret of the brain scorcher, a man-made emitter that had blocked the way to the center of the zone for years. After the brain scorcher is disabled, all stalkers rush for the center of the zone, some in hopes of finding a treasure trove of artifacts, others in search of the wish granter. The government decides to launch a large-scale military operation. Operation Fairway, as it came to be known, involves using maps of anomaly fields to maneuver helicopters to the CNPP. Despite meticulous preparation, the operation is a failure, and none of the helicopters return from the mission. Major Dektarev, a USS special agent, is sent into the zone to investigate the disappearance of the helicopters. Disguised as a stalker, equipped with a regular assault rifle, two weeks worth of supplies, and a radio to communicate with HQ, the Major begins his journey towards the center of the zone. And that is what you call an interesting prelude. This is Firefly 272 bringing my... F one second. My first... my let's play. Uh, Stalker Call of Pripyat. I have a hard time speaking Russian, so please excuse any mistakes in pronouncing the words. Anyways, this is probably about the 15th time I've tried getting this uh, game to run correctly. All the other attempts trying to get it to record using live stream podcaster. I suggest not to do that unless you have a computer capable of doing the encoding as it's running. My laptop cannot do that. Anyways, um, I'm going to be doing this on a difficulty all the way through, which 
uh, the second hardest difficulty uh, veteran. And I'm going to play as I Не балуй. Starting. Оружие спрячь. Sure, a lot of you are probably going to end up getting mad or whatever, or maybe just perfectly amused. But I don't care. Not really that much at the moment. Anyways, let's get going. Get my. Seeing as how I've noticed, and you'll probably notice soon as well, I tend to stick to a certain number of guns. Mostly at the moment, I'm just going to be sticking to two. The uh, shotgun I just picked up, and the MP5, which I'll be getting in a couple seconds. This is the boiler or not? Just the relax, all the ones I've been to. This is my favorite because, well, these guys over here, they're quite fun. stay there for very long. It'd be interesting if we could figure out how to invite them to a squad because my friend Nico, which will be joining us possibly next session or next couple sessions, will be um will be watching me hopefully through live stream as I record his friends. So he will be in the video and watch me, But he will have a delay. Anyways my yeah, the occasional lag, you will probably see that you might not. I'm not quite sure how this program works with that. Who are they shooting at this time? Oh. Let's go join in the fight, shall we? Oh, I do not like that sound. I know what it is too. I heard it last time I was over here. Nikaisa! Nikaisa, Pasane! Hey, hey, Rada Vanimichi, Pasane! Zanika, Valinu, Pira! Nikaisa, Nikaisa, Pasane! Karev, the cat, Shuheru Yeha! Nee, no, ты ж mur реально тупой был по жизни. Ни запас, ни хрена! Those guys are also bandits, I do believe. Yep. Oh crap, he's gonna shoot me. Because they killed stalkers, and I prefer to be on stalker sides, even though I started the game with killing two of them. Don't really care. I would say I'm a military person and I me is me the right to do whatever, but that makes no logical sense in my book. Did I loot this guy? Yes sir. Other guys. Okay. 
Okay, before that blood sucker gets on my tail, let's head back to town. Oh, hey, I'm bleeding. I did not notice that. Feeling I'm being followed. Yeah, I'm being followed. Oh god! Go away, go away, you stupid thing. No, go away. Ah, oh, they're everywhere! Well then. That was a great first session. We will try that again next time on my next attempt. I was totally not expecting that. Ha 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 